I've got great news for everyone who's weary and heavy laden. Here in this program, you are going to find your answer. Hi, my name is Philip Mantova. Welcome to P430. If you ever feel like you are a failure in this life, let me assure you that God is not finished. And if your situation is impossible, let me remind you that God still creates. Here in Indonesia, as a pastor, I've witnessed so many miracles and amongst them, some of the most spectacular wonders. Who says that God has stopped creating ever since the seventh day when He rested because God still creates to this day. Please don't go anywhere because I know He is going to create something wonderful in you. May that be healing for your body or salvation for your soul or any other miracles because God is limitless. Stay tuned where you are because somebody's going to get healed, somebody's going to get saved, a life will be changed forever.
creates and I believe it with all my heart. Let's study God's Word now because He always sends His Word first then heals our disease. John chapter 9 verse 1, Jesus heals a man born blind. As He went along, He saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked Him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. Here in this story, impossible has a name, a man born blind. You can't top that. When you're born with something, it stays with you. And in any given impossible situation in your life, if you can't find your way forward, Make sure you don't go backward, because scapegoating is a way backward. But 
Go upward instead. Use your energy to pray and ask God to take your situation and use it for, your, for His glory. Use your energy instead to proclaim His promises, to meditate on the scriptures, especially those scriptures that speak into your lives and situation today. And Jesus corrected His disciples when they asked Him who sinned in this man's case, whether this man himself or his parents that he was born this way. God is not a fault-finding God. He doesn't go out there blaming people for their conditions. His intention has always been pure and glorious to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cleanse the leper, to straighten somebody's crooked ways, to change our lives. Never in the scripture is written that Jesus has ever once rejected someone who came to Him asking for healing or asking for forgiveness of their sins. Jesus always says yes because His intention is always to display the work of His Father in the lives of human beings that He loves so much. Jesus died for us. What is that speaking about, about us? That we are so precious that if He is willing even to give His life for our sake, His King, I'm sure that He will be more than willing to answer our prayer today. I'm not asking you to manipulate God. God is not like a vending machine. You put a coin in, you get a can of soda out. God is not like that. But if you approach Him wholeheartedly, I am sure that He's more than just generous. He is, he, he, he is yes and amen to every promise God has spoken into you in your life including the promise that He will heal your bodies, even though maybe medically speaking, there is no cure for you. But remember this, in every impossible situation, look up. Go upward by your faith in Christ. Don't ever go backward. Don't find somebody for you to blame for your situation, including that yourself. Don't blame yourself. Instead, believe God with all your heart. And I know that will bring you even closer to your miracle this day. But how does God do His work? Does He do His works alone? Or does He work together with us? Let's continue our reading and find out the truth. Verse 4 says, As long as it is day, we must do the work of Him who sent me. Here Jesus uses the word we instead of I. That means that includes you and me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. In other words, because Jesus is no longer physically present here in the, in the world, we are also the light of the world. Jesus says, I am the light of the world, but so are you, because you are my sons and daughters. So Jesus chooses to work together with us. We should participate in His wonder-working works in His miracles. How could we participate and work together and cooperate with the unseen one, Jesus Christ? We could do that by our faith. Faith requires us not only to believe, but sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, faith always requires us to step out. We should not be careless, careless though, we should be careful. But some people are too careful, they never make their first step out of the boat. God wants us to believe Him with all our hearts and strength as well. Is faith risky? Definitely yes. Anything that is not risky is probably not faith at all. Faith is risky. But because we believe that God is able, we want to we wanna go in His direction. Because we believe that God is powerful, we believe every word He says. And one thing that I want to assure you, that Jesus still creates till this day. Even though the Bible says in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, the Word was with God, and everything was created through Him. Who says that God has stopped creating since, ever since that seventh day when He rested? Don't, don't forget there is such a thing called the eighth day. The eighth day is a new beginning, is the second first day. God creates again, and He creates through your faith. Talking about faith, the next phase of the story is full of it. Let's continue. 
Verse 6, having said this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Jesus is not merely a prophet, nor just a teacher. He is the creator of the universe. The message was too obvious that day. The hint could be mistaken. He gave them a replay of the creation of the world when He made Adam from the soil of the earth. And the Jews were very aware of this. They were not foreign to the Torah or the law of the scriptures in which the account of the creation of the world is vividly portrayed in the book of Genesis. Then unto the next verse, the last verse of my teaching today to you. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent. So the men went and washed and came home seeing. Here is the faith part. This is our portion. Jesus asked this man to go, to go to a pool called Siloam, which means sent. It is not by coincidence that Jesus chose this pool for this man. He has a message for all of us that we have to step out by faith. We got to believe in Him. And believing is not only in the feeling, it is in our decision. God hasn't asked us to do reckless things. He only asked this man to go and wash at a certain pool. So Jesus wants us to take action. Yeah, He wants us to take action in our belief. And that day, this man obeyed. He went and washed and came home seeing. I have a testimony about how Jesus asked one person to go from her house to come to our meeting. And this woman was suffering from a, 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 a bad condition of tuberculosis in her bones particularly. And how she was, she lied down like, like a corpse already, unable to move her body and she was com almost completely paralyzed and the bone that supported her, her body just couldn't function anymore. And that day when he left, when she left for our meeting, everyone laughed. All the neighbors mocked her saying that if you leave, you will die in the meeting. But that's not quite what Jesus has done in her life because Jesus honored her faith. She came and she stood and she, she set up, and that was quite impossible in her case, by the way, and because the bone was as weak as, as cheese. It was weak, it was no longer solid, but Jesus did wonderful miracle for this lady just because she went as she was sent by the Holy Spirit from her house to our meeting, and that's where Jesus met her. It wasn't our meeting that healed her. It was her faith that has healed her her faith in Jesus Christ. And through her faith, Jesus has created a set of new bones for her. And I'm so happy for what this lady has received from the Lord. And my conviction for you today is that God still creates. This is your eighth day, the new first day when He will create something new in you. He will create a miracle according to your need just for you. Receive by faith. Pada mulanya, Saya merasakan sakit kram di punggung yang sangat nyeri sekali sampai-sampai untuk bergerak aja sakit itu berlangsung sampai sekitar tujuh bulan mengalami kesakitan yang sangat luar biasa saya mengalami kelumpuhan total semua tulang punggung saya sudah remuk dan hancur dan juga tulang-tulang yang lainnya karena penyakit itu menjadi lembek seperti keju saat Bapak pilih berdoa mendoakan semua orang-orang yang sakit Saya merasakan seluruh tubuh saya dari ujung rambut sampai ujung kaki itu merasa dialiri oleh aliran yang sangat sejuk dan menyejukkan. Dan ketika itu juga langsung saya bisa duduk. Ibu sebelumnya nggak bisa duduk seperti ini? Nggak bisa. Sama sekali? Sama sekali. Sama sekali? Iya. Ini pertama kali sesudah sekian lama ini iya. baru bisa duduk sekarang. Iya. Ibu, saya tidak mau melakukan perkara yang ceroboh. Tuhan telah menyembuhkanmu, namun engkau Tulang-tulangmu, otot-ototmu akan berangsur untuk kuat kembali karena sudah lama kau tidak pakai sama sekali duduk pun tidak pernah. Iya. Tapi kau akan berangsur-angsur kuat. Dagingmu akan bertambah sesudah ini. Kau akan semakin berat. Tubuhmu akan semakin gemuk sesudah hari ini. Ulurkan tangan, saudara. Ku bersyukur untuk sekian lama saudariku ini tidak bisa duduk dan berdiri. 
Hari ini Tuhan Engkau telah memberikan suatu kemauan iman di hatinya yang engkau telah menjawabnya Mulai hari ini aku berkata kepada tubuh ini Bertambah gemuk Bertambah kuat setiap ototnya dari atas kepala sampai bawah kakinya Aku berkata jadilah kuat oleh pilu Yesus dalam nama Yesus Iblis sudah selesai urusanmu dengan wanita ini Sudah selesai kau sudah cukup cukup mempersulit hidupnya Tinggalkan dia Jangan pernah masuk dalam kehidupannya selama-lamanya Dalam nama Yesus Kristus Dalam nama Yesus Kristus Dan saat itu saya meresponi bahwa Kesembuhan sudah terjadi pada saya Saya sangat bersyukur pada Tuhan Karena Tuhan telah menepati janjinya Seiring dengan luka-luka itu mulai menutup Sedikit demi sedikit Kaki, badan saya sudah mulai bisa digerak-gerakkan Tak ada seorang dokter pun yang menye dapat menyembuhkan saya dan menggantikan tulang-tulang yang baru hanya Tuhan Yesus sendiri yang telah menyembuhkan saya dan memberikan mujizatnya yang terbesar. Now my dear viewers, I want to pray for you. But before I do, let's just agree to focus on God's creative miracles. Let's ask for these wonders from the Lord and they are available I know. They are available will be given by faith. Stretch your hands forward and let's pray. Thank you Lord Jesus. And I ask you today to give new lives for those who are not yet born again or those who haven't received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in their lives. Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, now enter every life that needs you, every life that is empty. Right now, Lord, bring salvation into many souls who are watching this program. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for healing. Yes, healing for everybody who is sick right now. There is no such thing as big healings or small healings. Everything is, nothing is difficult for you. In Jesus' name right now, I pray for your healing power to touch everyone who is in need. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the Holy Spirit just has just given me a, a, a strong impression that someone who has gone through many chemotherapy sessions because of a tongue cancer. And now afterwards, even though you're declared free of cancer, your tongue has never been the same. It's always dry and you have to always uh, water it somehow. But now, let me tell you by faith, in Jesus' name, God is giving you a new tongue without taking away the, the, the old tongue. In Jesus' name, right now, something supernatural is happening in your body. Receive by faith. And I rebuke every tuberculosis, in every kind of tuber tuberculosis in Jesus' name to leave that body, to leave every patient in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I can, I can sense that so many healings are happening now. So many of them, countless of them. I cannot name them one by one because of limited time. But God is not limited. God is limitless in His power. God is not limited by space and, and, and time. His strength could reach out to everybody. Receive His anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. I am so thrilled that many of you have gotten healed. I know it by faith. Please go to your doctor because anything that the Lord does, any miracle could pass the doctor's test. I will keep praying for you. One thing for sure when I say that God still creates, He has created for you and me today a new opportunity to love Him wholeheartedly. Until the next episode, God be with you.